YouTube universe and other nerd fighter type people. My, my name's Phil Rock. If you've never seen one of my videos, which because of how few subscribers I have, that wouldn't be surprising. Uh, I tend to do videos about nerdy things like, you know, uh, music and, and Doctor Who and different things like that. I also tend to talk a lot about uh, politics, different things in society, mainly how I think we all just need to love each other. And I've been recently posting, although it's been a while, videos about my own personal journey to try to get in better shape and um, make myself better. I post music, I post a lot of different stuff, because I'm a complicated person and everybody's complicated people, but I am totally getting off topic, which kind of brings me back to my topic. This year, I've decided to join everyone with the Project for Awesome. I totally forgot that this week was the Project for Awesome, so I'm literally throwing this video together now, and then I'm going to put it on and hope that they can feature it or something to get me some views, because that would be really, really cool. Anyway, as you may be able to tell, I'm a little bit ADHD. And by a little bit, I mean I have pretty severe ADHD. So, I decided that I wanted to do something because I know how much of a struggle ADHD has been in my life. And I know that it's been a huge uh, factor into where I am in my life now. And I've been doing some kind of research over the years about different organizations that help people with different mental illnesses and things like that. And I've, a couple years ago, I stumbled upon the Edge Foundation. The uh, Edge Foundation is an organization that helps people with ADHD. Their vision is to give each student a coach, especially those who are at risk of dropping out of school, uh, specifically non-traditional learners with executive functioning challenges, ADHD being the most severe, so that they can complete their education, realize their full potential, and pursue their passion. Uh, their mission is to ensure that each student, regardless of their economic circumstances, who wants and needs edge executive coaches, gets one, so that they can complete their education and not drop out. Uh, this is a huge deal to me. Um, I never dropped out of high school. I've dropped out of college two or three times. Um and gone back, partially because uh, it's very hard for me to focus, it's very hard for me to study, uh, and there's a lot of issues that I have with school. Um, I was starting a study with the EDGE Foundation uh, a few years back, uh, had to drop out of school again, uh, so I didn't actually get to join it, but when I learned about what they did, it was fantastic. I want to give you some background on ADHD with me, because I know ADHD is kind of a trigger word. A lot of people don't necessarily think that ADHD is a real thing. People will talk about how it's over-medicated, maybe over-diagnosed, and that may be true to some degree. You know, I've studied psychology, and they've said that, yes, there are people out there who may jump to ADHD a little too soon. But it is a real issue. When I was really little, um, and I'm talking like three or four maybe five at the oldest, uh, my mom started seeing issues with me, with my focus, with all these other things. And it wasn't just like I would get slightly distracted like all children do. You know, children get distracted by shiny objects. It was bad. I couldn't even sit and watch an episode of Looney Tunes. I remember going to my mom in tears because I just couldn't sit and watch my cartoons. I couldn't sit l still long enough to focus on a story. And and then as I got older, it started to affect me in school, even, even as early as preschool or pre-K, kindergarten, it started to give me issues. Um, and they tried a lot of things with me. They tried Ritalin and every other new drug that was supposed to be a really big deal uh, and really help people with ADHD. And I've had negative side effects to everything. So coaching is something that I know how to had in high school. I, I didn't you know, graduate with a terrible GPA. I didn't graduate with an amazing 3.0 or higher either, but I know I could have succeeded more if I had known about groups like the Edge Foundation, known about some of these organizations that are really helping to make sure that people with ADHD can succeed, can reach their goals. And so this is why this is so important to me. When it comes to mental illness, when it comes to these invisible disabilities, many people uh, kind of laugh it off, you know, kind of say things like, don't be so lazy, don't do this, don't do that, and it's really hurting, and it's hard to hear those types of things. As somebody with ADHD, it's hard to hear uh, people accuse you of just not trying hard enough, and it's completely unfair. So, that's why I wanted to do the Edge Foundation for my project for Awesome. 
They're doing really, really great work. They do research studies uh, for students with ADHD. They do uh, Skype sessions uh, to help you manage your life, not just in school, but kind of make sure your whole life is getting organized, sorted. Um, you know, so life co coaches, tutors, mentors, uh, all this other stuff. They work with parents. They work with schools, and it's an amazing organization. They try to make sure that things are affordable. That's kind. Of, that's why I want to support them. I want to make sure that other people, other teenagers, other young adults, have the same opportunity as every other teenager, as every other kid, uh, to succeed in school, to succeed in life, to not feel like they are that there's something wrong with them, to be able to function as an everyday person. So that's my project for Awesome. It'd be really great. Personally, it means a lot to me. I'd really love to see them get some money from this uh, great event. Uh, and it's definitely, definitely helping to decrease world suck. I think my cat just knocked something over. I'll talk to you later. Uh, please, please vote. Share this video. Um, thanks a lot. I'll catch you later.